Now, I hear you do a really great Christopher Walken impersonation. We had a what? little viral video a few weeks ago where I did one that I now feel like I'm going to get embarrassed. But we always usually put Seabach, who is out sick today, mm -hmm. up to all the silly stunts on the show. So, so yeah, that's that why I'm here. Now I get it. Oh, you're <laughs> the guy with the Walken impersonation. Oh, no, no, I'm filling in for Seabach. <laughs> right, right. So, Kevin... Uh, it's going to be embarrassing for me. You, now, Can I watch second. what you did? Can what I watch your, your thing? Can they throw it, it up? Yeah, I wish we had like a TV that rose oh. up the to show my clip. Unfortunately, we're not there yet. Maybe after your guys' appearance, though, we'll be able to afford something we'll, like we'll a We'll check it out online. <laughs> so, so you're saying you're not comfortable? I don't know who should go first. They want us to have a walking off. Have at it, my friend. And yours, now yours, wait a second, we gotta talk about yours. Yours is the foremost walk-in impersonation in the I world. I don't know if that's true. If you're by a computer and you Google the phrase Christopher Walken impersonation, I may come up first, might be second. Um, the thing about an impression that's kind of silly that I'm, I'm actually mocking is that anyone can own it. <laughs> it's absurd, you know. I mean, I learned mine from, Jay Moore was the first one to ever do it on TV and I was working on a project with the Academy Award winning writer of The Usual Suspects, actually, who does one of the best uh, Walkins I've ever seen. He's not famous, so you'll... McQuarrie? You'll, it's very tough to catch it. You I had Seder with him, actually, Christopher McQuarrie. Yeah, interesting guy. <laughs> wow. I had a Seder with Christopher McQuarrie. Were there you got any, a lot of good stories. Were What's there that? any Jews there? <laughs> <laughs> one. You're looking at him. Oh, okay. Um, uh, you I, see, people are converting just for the good company now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so his, uh, Christopher Walken was mind-blowing. And then um, I ran into Jay Moore, and I said, you know, you were the first guy that ever did this. And Jay Moore actually gave me a very great uh, little tool that when doing Walken, every single syllable word becomes a two-syllable word. So, for example, the word no becomes no. <laughs> Two syllables. <laughs> I'm gonna get smoked. This is so bad. <laughs> this is so I didn't even realize the two syllable yeah, one yeah, there syllable are rules, word, my rule. friend, to mastering the word. No. Yeah, exactly. All right. Yeah, you're there. You're well, all have to learn from you on the set. It doesn't. It's not quite in the spirit of it. But anyway, welcome back to Poker Tonight, brought to you by UB.net. We're here with Kevin Pollock and Sam Levine. Thank you for joining us, gentlemen. No. That's, that's rock solid. <laughs> now yours. That is rock solid. Honestly. You should be very proud of that. You should hold your head high. Now, <laughs> however, <laughs> here's the thing, if I may. You gotta slow it down a touch, a tad, if you will. Wow. <laughs> That's the way we do it. I get to do this for a living, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> be around this. I actually um, stood next to him when he was uh, given his uh, hands and feet and signature in cement in front of the Chinese Theater in Hollywood Boulevard. It was me and Quentin Tarantino. We were the two speakers. Uh, I'd never met Walken before that. I'd just done the impersonation on Conan O'Brien in a couple of places. So I get this invite to be one of the two speakers at maybe one of the most important moments of this man's <laughs> life. Right. And, I, and I was honored, obviously, but I couldn't help think, who else said no? I mean, really. <laughs> How far down the list did you have to go before you call the monkey who does the impersonation? I mean, really. But doing the impersonation in front of him, he's standing to my uh, right behind me, in front of the press corps that's there to capture this moment, and seeing him slowly leaning forward, uh, bent at the waist, laughing. Maybe a highlight. Wow. Uh, yeah. Next to, like, making Carson laugh sitting on the couch. One of those moments where you're just like, all right, you can take me now. I'm good. <laughs> 